what's going on YouTube so uh, this video I'm just doing like an update and review on my South Bend clutch um, I've had it in I've probably driven about 500 miles on it now um, and it is a great improvement over stock obviously um, the clutch kit I got came with upgraded hydraulics however I didn't get around to putting them in when we put the clutch in we were on kind of a, kind of a uh, time crunch uh, as I said in my previous videos so and we didn't really see what the harm would be and just leaving the stock hydraulics um, and with it being a 3250 pressure plate you know there might not even really be a need for it because I have I have zero issues out of these out of this the, the stock slave and all that so I mean I've got it in case I need it but right now I don't um, everything's working smoothly um, you know this is as loud as it is with it in neutral that little clip and uh, you know my buddy's Val Valer um, of course he has an MV5600 so that may be a little bit of a difference um, his is a lot louder than mine at neutral. Um, the only thing about these clutches, they don't like to be short shifted. Um, if you start, like if you're going 30 miles an hour and you're already in fifth gear, it chatters a lot. But, uh, it's, it's nothing unmanageable. Since I, I've made it past the, the break-in period of like three or 400 miles of stop-and-go traffic, which is very easy to do in Jacksonville, um, I've beat on it a little bit. Zero slipping, which is good. I would expect it to not slip, considering I'm not at the 650 horsepower or higher mark yet. Um, and that's what this clutch is rated for. It's a 650 horsepower clutch. Um, and I still haven't got a dynode yet. There is a dyno close by. However, it's throwing out correct numbers um, according to my boss and 
they had a dino day uh, at the beginning of March. And uh, trucks were putting down like 50 to 100 horsepower less than what they should have been uh, based on what had been done to them in previous dyno readings. There you go ahead and put these windows up. Turn the AC on. I got my dog with me. Um, so you might see his face pop in over here occasionally. Um, so I'm probably going to try to get up to uh, the Destin area um, and stop by Hardway um, and get Ryan to dyno it and probably end up switching over to his tunes anyways. So it's all just a big uh, time issue um, with my work and school. I have a week off from school every 10 weeks, but then I don't know if I'm working the, the full week or just the half week. So um, it's kind of hit or miss and I'll probably just put some more miles on the on this clutch before I go and throw it on his dyno and uh, see what it finally puts down. Now, for being just a deleted 6.7 and an H&S intake horn and Anarchy tunes, I've never heard anything from getting like 425 to the wheels to closer to 500 to the wheels. So, I don't really know what I'm going to make. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't break my heart too badly. But, there's always uh, room for improvement and uh, more upgrades to buy. So, with that being said... Probably the next thing I buy, it's either going to be an AirDog 4G or a Fast 150. Um, four gauges finally, because I still don't have those. I like to live dangerously, you know. Um, but really, it's just because I can't. I don't know if I can really bring myself to fucking buy $600 worth of gauges. Okay, maybe not $600, but you get what I'm saying. Gauges are expensive as shit. And, uh, but they serve an important role. And I guess I could do, like, the, the CTS-2 or whatever, um, and just have that up in my windshield. But at the same time, I kind of want factory match gauges. So, let me know in the comments below which you think I should do first. I'm sure a lot of you are going to say gauges. But, keep in mind, it's pretty much a stock truck. I'm not making a shit ton of power where... I really need to worry about EGTs and fuel pressure and all that shit. It's, it's all stock, minus the tunes, obviously. So, um, but I do know filtration is a big, a big issue that needs to be taken care of. So, I'm leaning more towards the lift pump first. 
But anyways, comments will be appreciated. Um, that's pretty much all I got for this video. Um, but yeah, this uh, this clutch, if you're looking, if you have a deleted and tuned 6.7 with the G56, I got mine through Rudy's. Um, well, through work from Rudy's. That's who we order like most of these performance parts from. Um, I got mine from them. And uh, it was one of the better prices I've seen around uh, compared to other part selling sites. So, I'll put the part number down here at the bottom and in the description um like i said it's it's only been 500 miles and it's i'll try to get another clip of how it is at neutral i'm coming up to a stoplight right now so it's in neutral right now that's all the louder it is so this is I'm, I'm guessing this is South Bend's new design uh, they they redesigned their clutches so they're a little bit quieter than they used to be um, the button design and the dampening plate or whatever the hell it's called um, all that has been redesigned and it's helped quiet it down quite a bit um, I do, I do remember a buddy of mine having an MV5600 having one of these in here, and it was so ungodly annoying. It really did sound like his shit was breaking. And uh, as you can tell, it doesn't sound like this thing's really breaking. Um, and it is a dual disc, so it does jump a little bit in when you're taking off and uh, when you're in reverse. But I mean, that's, it's one of those things that you gotta expect with a clutch. And as you heard right there, I'm going too slow to be in fourth gear. So it's chattery, but it smooths right out. And uh, what I found is it, it tends to not like being shifted below 1500 RPMs. That's when it's chattery. Um, But other than that, it's nice and smooth. Um, engages nice and easy. So, and this is the 3250. So, if you go with like a, a 3650 or 30, 3850, it's going to be uh, a little bit more difficult to push in the clutch pedal. And you're going to need upgraded hydraulics for um, those pressure plates. So, if you order a clutch kit, like I know, I know the triple discs uh, from Val Valair. The clutch kit does not come with hydraulics. You have to buy the hydraulics separately. So if you're going that route, make sure you buy the hydraulics along with it. Otherwise, you're gonna fuck your shit up. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. And uh, I'll catch y'all next time.